The truck we have today is the brand new F-150 Tremor, the most off-road worthy truck other than the Raptor that Ford makes. So why are we at the Ike and why do we have a cut and picking trailer on the back? Well, it's because I want to see exactly how this new truck that's supposed to do everything, how it tows on the world's toughest towing test. Well, that's a good idea. We got to test everything out this year. And it's our first Ike of the year, isn't it? Yes, Gold oh, Hitch. Oh, it's exciting. Gold Hitch, here we come. For the way down, we measure brake applications. So as always, we come out of the tunnel at 50, then I let go of the pedals, and we're gonna count brake applications, bringing it from 60 miles per hour down to 50. And I am in tow hole mode. Of course it has one. And right now I'm, I'm approaching 61. There. So I'm gonna do my application. That's fourth gear. Well, that's probably, third. Yeah, well, that's that's like it likes to drop down to third, but we'll never go into second without a, a, a uh, one of those computer things on it. But you know, this is a ten speed, and which axle is on this? Is a three seventy three. Yeah, it is. Yes. So you know, I, that axle probably won't give us a whole lot of braking, but the tow haul mode does work on these. Mm -hmm. It just can only shift so far. So third's as low as you're going to get. The capacity of this trammer is 10,900. We're pulling 8,100, so we're not quite at the max on it. And of course, we're using the Gen Y adjustable hitch. That's all we use. And we have put weight distributing on here, so we're a balanced load with that trailer, and we've got good sway control. You know, what I really like is uh, I don't have to do in the, go in the menu or anything like that. I know exactly what gear I'm in. Yes, I wish uh, they all had that. That's a great thing, you know what gear you're in when you're going downhill with yeah. the trailer. This trailer package, I like it. I know it's expensive. It's over $13,000 for this one. Yeah. But I love the gold accents in the grill and, you know, in, in the, the edge of the hood, the bulging hood, the seats. The whole thing just is cool. And then it's got different knuckles. It's got different uh, control arms. They only come in a five and a half foot bed, but also has, I think, more skid plates. Yeah, and a different nose. Yeah. And, and a different, uh, actually, fuel efficiency rating, right? What is the fuel it's, efficiency? Well, on the highway, it's 20, where the regular 150 with this engine and this transmission is 23, so it's three miles a gallon less. But no, and that's because of the, the tires, the suspension, all that has to do with that. So, why are we towing 8,100 pounds? Because that's what the truck and the trailer weighs, I don't know. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, this truck has really good technology uh, for towing. Uh -huh. Special mode, of course, for tow haul, cameras. It was very easy to hook up. Measuring a squat on this 2022 Tremor Ford F-150 before we hook to the trailer, and it's like right around 42 inches, right down the middle of the tire to the ground to the bottom of the fender, 42. And guys, of course, because this is a brand new truck and also a very premium truck, it has all the goodies. For example, the cameras. So right here, look at that behind me. There is Roman. Where did Roman come from? And uh, Mr. Truck. And I can do this, of course. I can zoom in and get a little bit of a closer view of the hitch. There it is. And action! I am so happy. Ford for a while was putting this lid on upside down. So you had to plug it in upside down, which made this tip down. And you'd lose sometimes two connections. Now it's back where it should be. It's on the lid, the lid's on top. I'm so happy. And I can plug it in and not get the duct tape out. This is awesome. Okay, that's just a little over three inches of squat with the trailer hooked up. And that trailer is 8,100 pounds, so we might be over 800 pounds of tongue weight. The reason why we're towing 8,100 pounds, because a Raptor can tow that much too. Well, that's true. But that's true. the Raptor doesn't have this payload. No, no right? this is over 1,500 pounds of payload. Yeah, a Raptor is sometimes near 1,000 pounds of payload. Yeah, and you need payload. You gotta haul people, you got your tongue weight on your trailer. Oh, look at that truck, is smoking. Yeah, I don't wanna call it a smoke. That's a ridden truck, you know why it's smoking. 
Oh wow, they're overheating their brakes. Yes, dude. they don't know how to drive the truck, so they're going to have to be I hope they make it. Mr. Truck, that was six brake applications, which is better than some other F-150s and uh, Chevys and Rams we've tested. Yeah, actually, it's six is it's reasonable. Because we've tested ones that go all the way up to 11 and 12, and yeah. that's kind of crazy. Yeah. So this is controlling an 8,100 pound trainer really well. Well, let's see how it does on the way up. Yes, see if those twin turbos can light up the night. So Mr. Truck, as always, on the way up the mountain, we'll measure time off the mountain, yeah. fuel efficiency according to the trip meter. So I'm going to hit it at 35 as we always do. I'm going to floor it and try to get to 60 as quickly as possible. Bam, there. Oh, come on. Resetting. And start. That's that 373 rear end just pulling, pulling the trailer. You know, this is not really a towing machine. That's why it's only five and a half foot bit. That's why it doesn't have towing mirrors. I mean, and, and that's fine. You can still tow what we're doing. I mean, gosh, you'll tow 10,900, but it's off-road use is what it's designed for. Yeah. And you're in a because we can't get off-road mirrors. I think they lowered the mirror. Yeah, it's which better, is nice. Better visibility above it, which is always a complicated thing on mirrors. Yeah. Yeah, and this is also for towing. It's got the optional 36 gallon tank, which, which is great for I, range, I, right? I love it. That's what I have in my truck. Mr. Truck, did you know that this hood is unique to the Tremor? Well, I see it has scoops on top, but I don't see where they go through it. Well, I don't think they're functional, but under this hood is the only engine you can get in the F-150 Tremor right now. It's a three and a half liter EcoBoost. Twin turbo and yes. 10 speed. I love the combination. And it's pretty powerful. 400 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. Yes, it's more powerful than ever to keep cranking it up. Now this has a, a PowerPro onboard two kilowatt. Inverter now, system, yeah. This is not, of course, a hybrid, right? Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't right. have that 7.2 kilowatt hour inverter system, but in the back, in the bed, it does have the two kilowatt inverter, and it's actually uh, 120. Um, so right. you could uh, cool. you could plug in the regular plug in there and power some significant items. Right. The outlet up here, the 120 volt one, is 20 amp. Do you know what the amp is in the one in the bed? I think it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The stability is pretty good. Um, this truck, of course, is not as wide as a Raptor would be, but I have no issues. You know, the trailer is not, you know, kind of jerking this truck around. Uh, it feels very stable. And I think the suspension is a good compromise between off-roading um, and actually right here on kind of a rough highway. I still have plenty of pedal left. Right now I'm in sixth gear, maintaining the speed limit. Uh, the, these twin turbocharged EcoBoost engines uh, even at this insane elevation, about 11,158 feet above sea level, these engines are still strong. Well, that's really good to be in sixth gear going up this kind of a, a, a slope. That's, that's so you're not stressing guy, the engine Right, too that much. shows that the torque is really working, the torque band on this. Yeah. It's been a good day, too. We haven't had backed up traffic. We've had a no. real clear run. Yeah. I like it when our runway is clear so we can do this. I'm betting that we're going to have a good run with this time-wise. Are, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm shutting down the timer. And 3.7 MPG, according to the truck. Okay. Do you want to show them the time? Seven, what, almost 45? Yeah, well, yeah, almost 45, exactly, 745. An ideal time would be eight minutes. Yes. At the, basically at speed limit, so I would maybe a smidge faster. That's good, that's good. I mean, that's these powerful engines now, all the, all the, one, the biggest ones in each class of OEM. We need bigger mountains, we need, yeah. we need longer runs, we need more weight. And the temperatures always mean uh, stayed in a good, uh, within good limits, yeah. uh, normal temperatures, so we never overheat it, uh, never have any issues. Mr. Truck, I have my calculator, my trusty calculator, because I want to score this high gauntlet run That's to make cool. it official. Yes. So we get 100 points maximum for an eye gauntlet gold hitch run and 75% is objective. That's based on the downhill and uphill performance. But you and I get some subjective 25 points. Out of 25 points, what do you give this truck and why? Jeez, oh, it's tricky because it's actually a nice truck. I'm going to take off three. I should probably take off four, but 
I mean, it's a great truck. It's really hard to make a compromised truck that will do off-road and tow trailers. Now this one, it's not even an option to get towing mirrors on it, but I do like the way they position this mirror a little lower. I like the, uh, you know, the, the, the squats. What was it? It was a little over three, three inches. Yes. And, and I know they need a, a lot of movement for really good off-road use. That's why they do that. But the rake, when it's empty, is like you know a race car or something. It just makes it look weird. But I, I understand why they do it and how that helps off-road performance. So you got to compromise. But I'm going to take a point off anyway because I feel like it. And then the third point is the hood. I mean, I know they did a big deal over it, making it look cool and macho. And I would say it looks a little more like big rig with Ram and Dodge. But they had such a nice, clean sheet on most of their 150s. Visibility is wonderful. But you lose some visibility when you start bulging the hood out. Anyway, those are the things that upset me a little bit. So you had 25 points. You subtracted three, so 22? Yeah, that's where I'm going to Okay. Do. Uh, I'm actually going to take off four points. Usually I'm the nice one. Yeah, you are. usually he is the nice one. So I took off one point for the mirrors because the towing mirrors are not available on the Tremor. Right. I also took off one point for the squat. Similar reason that you gave. I think just over three inches of squat is a little bit too much for a half ton truck with this weight. And then I took another two points for value. $68,000 for this truck. It starts at about 51. If I was going to get the Tremor, I would get it lower I wouldn't get all the other features and options. I would get it for about 54, 55 grand, maybe with a Torsen front differential. Right, that's good. That's why I took four points off. So guys, here is the bottom line. Uh, when you combine the points from the downhill and uphill and our subjective scores, the Tremor, the new F-150 scores 79 points, which is actually quite a high score. That is a high score. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com and mrtruck.tv. And dot com. And dot com. And Mr. And Mr. Trader. Trader. Com. He's got a he's busy. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs>